when that happens, and I know it's never happened to you, but it's like an alien creature gets a hold of your tongue and it starts speaking a language really loudly that's not you. And so, not that it's ever happened to us. By the way, you can borrow this story because it's worked for me all these years, right? Must have been somebody else talking Cause I would never have said those crazy things Not me who loves you like the air that I breathe Maybe you read it in a book somewhere Or you heard it in a movie and you thought it was me Just some crazy woman trying to get herself free Me Or maybe you're prone to sleep walking and go into the corner and buy in a paper. Maybe you read it in a column there. Or maybe you got it in your family tree and you heard it at Christmas at some gathering and you just remembered and you thought it was me. Me. good songwriter friend in LA by the name of just Jimmy Yessian and we had an interesting thing happen where we both kind of saw the same scene and we saw it through two different sets of eyes I saw it through the eyes of someone who uh, whose husband had had some medical traumas but uh, made it back and is still here with us today for which we're all grateful and uh, his wife Amy had uh, a long-term struggle uh, with cancer and she did not make it through that and uh, I watched a couple in a parking lot walk through and she started to stumble and and he helped her and they held hands all the way in the grocery store and I thought about what their life would have been like at their age and how much they had loved each other and held each other up Jimmy saw the same scene and his take was wow I thought that was going to be us but it's not and so we'd like to do both of those songs uh, for you today. And uh, we're going to do Jimmy's song uh, for Amy.
preacher man waiting on a face just shined at his little girl for the very last time walking down the aisle to a bridal song they stand beside the teacher daddy lifts her veil kisses her cheek as the tears roll down she looks at the man who will be her life and leans on him as she becomes his wife will you hold my hand will you keep Steady, will you be here by my side? Will you hold my hand? Will you always be ready to catch me when I fall? Looks like baby's coming in the middle of the night. Oh, what we're gonna do now? Money's so tight. I guess we should have waited for a better time. Quite sure that I'm really ready. Won't you hold my hand? Cause I don't feel steady. She looks at the man who has been her life and leans on him like she did that night. Will you hold my hand? Will you keep me steady? Will you be here by my side? Will She don't feel steady. He looks at the man who had been her life. Leans on him like she did that night. Will you hold my hand? Will you keep me steady? Will you be here by my side? Will you hold my hand? Will you always be ready to catch me? So my scene was um, watching those folks in the parking lot, and he was watching an old couple come out, and it's a rainy day, and she um, was getting a little damp, and he pulled out an umbrella, put it over her head, and she tucked his little scarf around his chin.
growing green beans, tomatoes, not much. Get on our knees and pull them weeds and have to help each other up. I pictured us in a park swing, watching fireflies dance in the yard. Reminisce about our first kiss, wrapped in each other's arms. Gonna be us when we grew old and gray. That was gonna be me, yeah. Chasing the clouds away. That was gonna be you, the source of my strength. Still so much in love, yeah. It's gonna be us. Never thought I'd spend these years alone. Never thought I'd have to sell our home. Well, that was gonna be us. When we grew old and gray. Was gonna be me, yeah. Trying to chase those clouds away. That was you, my soul and my strength. Still so much in love. That was gonna be. It's gonna be us That was gonna be us Jimmy Essien Anybody here ever been in that situation of being a best friend all the time for somebody? Like you kind of, <laughs> thank you for confessing. <laughs> okay, you call, I'll come over. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. She broke your heart. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Again. Again. Pick me. I'm here. All right. So. You know, it's funny how long we'll do that because we're human over and over and over again. But at some point in time, you just get to a point where you go, you know, I want something more than this. Uh, our friend Janine's not here. Her husband, Tony's here. Hi. Uh, we go to this little place for breakfast in Snohomish that has Naga hide on the seats. Remember Naga hide? And it's all held together with tape. Duct tape. Duct tape. It's, it's like our absolute favorite place. And when you sit, the duct tape starts to spread a little bit. So that's what I kind of had in mind, I think, when we were doing this. Well, I could settle for coffee in a midnight diner in the middle of the night. Sitting at an old torn Naga hide booth with the radio on. And I could listen to the sad song spilling its way through the shining of a neon light across the floor. I want something more More than just a promise of a Sunday Maybe, baby, in another time More than just a place to lay your tired and troubled mind More than just a shoulder More than just a place for your weary heart To rest a while before moving on I want something more Settle for a call to come on over on a Friday night And have a late night conversation in the corner with the TV on And I could listen to you tell me one more time How she broke your heart to pieces and it's on the floor I want 
something more More than just a promise of a someday Maybe baby in another time More than just a place to lay your tired and troubled mind More than just to show them More than just a place for your weary home To rest a while before moving on I want something more Settle for a long neck bottle and a dance on a Saturday night. Sitting at a smoky table in the corner while the music's on. And I can listen to the beat of your heart as you dance me around the table and into the middle of a crowded floor. I want something more. More than just a promise of a someday, maybe, maybe in another time. More than just a place to lay your tired and troubled mind. More than just a shoulder, more than just a place for your weary heart to rest a while before moving on. I want something more than a cup of coffee in the middle of the middle of the night. I want something more than a call to come on over on a Friday night. I want something more than a long neck bottle and a dance. Saturday night, I want something more. I want something more. I want something more. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We used to uh, play guitar with Pim's brother. He was a lead guitar player with us. And uh, we don't have him with us anymore. And uh, ever since then, I've been thinking a lot about uh, none of us know the number of our days. So if you've got anything on your heart that you want to take care of with people, it's really good to do it today because none of us know what tomorrow holds. And that includes things like I love you more than life itself, or thank you for marrying me. And you can take off the list. Why didn't you do the laundry? You know, all those things, those aren't important. We know that because um, Greg's wife has said several times, gosh, there's so many things I wish we would have done if I'd only known. I would have bought that car, candy apple red, Convertible in summer, impractical in leather. I would have bought those wheels in shiny chrome and gone zero to 60 in six seconds flat. If I'd only known, if, if I'd only known, if I'd only I hope I would have been impractical as hell if I'd only known. I would have booked that trip to some place warm, though I didn't have the money and I didn't have the time. I would have soaked up sun and danced till dawn. Not scared of looking foolish, I would have held you in my arms. If I'd only known, if I'd only often fragile no one knows the number of their days I know I would have been a lot less practical 
In case you can't tell, Jimmy Essien is one of my favorite songwriters. Not very many people know him up here. Uh, he's in a group called The Tall Man. It's six songwriters in L.A. that are all over six foot two. So that's their name, The Tall Man. Very original. Otherwise known as The Talls. And uh, I'm hoping that someday they'll come up to the Pacific Northwest and then we'll all have a party and come see them. Cause if you ever get a chance, do not miss it. There are six guys from very separate um, upbringings and all that stuff and six great songwriters and also great musicians uh, just a real real treat if you ever get a chance and Jimmy cooks some mean spaghetti oh when Jimmy was uh, losing Amy we were losing Greg and uh, we would have some late night conversations sometimes and I said, wow, I'm so impressed with anybody who would hang out and the way you are hanging out and taking care of your wife. And he said, you know, we all kind of do what we got to do. And then the next day he sent this uh, through the mail. It's 
about love, how much we care. It's not what we have, it's what we have together. It's about trust. The lot of people we touch, we all breathe, we all grieve, every one of us. Simple enough, it's about love. It's about trust. The lives that we touch, we all breathe, we all grieve. Every one of us is simple enough. Each life we touch, it's about love. So we're getting ready to hit the road, but there are some folks here who deserve like a huge round of applause. So the folks that have been serving you tonight are awesome. Thank you. And uh, for Kevin, who's been so graciously running sound and let us come, thank you. It was an awesome time. Thank you, Kevin. And Thanks, drive folks. safe, and we hope yep. to see you soon. Thank you.